mule cart thing, which you can use as a scout. It feels bad playing with the Gregorians. Why does it feel so bad to play with the Gregorians? Because you're 50 food down, so you continuously have to fast drop off. However, they do have one really, really cool building that I enjoy, which is the fortified monastery so you can fortified monastery tc drop now by means of a super fast castle into fortified monastery drop it is recronculus you could probably even not even drop it on their tc you could just drop it next to their tc make a whole bunch of monks and your monks would actually be defended from any attack because you could garrison villagers into your monastery and then you could move your uh, cart up to the place where your fortified monastery is and collect resources. It's nuts. It, it's really stupid. It's uh, What were the devs thinking on this one? I have no idea how this will be playing out on rank games. This is just a concept idea against an AI with a build order attached to it. After this, we will hit the ranked ladder because I have never been madder than I have when playing Gregorians. The opportunities, uh, their scouts heal, which means that you would win a one-on-one -on -one scout war no matter what because you would heal one HP, but it's... Uh, Nani? What is going on with this civilization? Well, I do know one thing. You go for a total of 19 villagers onto food because food is very, very, very good. And the wonderful thing is you don't even have to push in your deer for this build. You can be nice and lazy. Patrick Swayze. Have your mule cart right next to your deer and then just force drop off right in there. We're just trying to reach castle as quickly as we possibly can. And I thought a 13-minute castle was very, very doable with this civilization on arabia the nice thing is once these deer are all gone you can just move these guys onto wood we will need a blacksmith as well as a market to get up to the next og and it's just food 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 because it's good 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 well my scout 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 it scouts charles the sixth is not going to know what hit him it's it's i can't tell you how ridiculous this turns into with the fortified monasteries. Um, defensive buildings, they said. Fun, they said. Ah, ooh, right, 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 they said. Let's just do it. Well, Pooh is about to show you how we diggity dang do. So now we're up to the feudal age. We're going to start collecting wood. Those deer are just about to be out. Once those deer are out, we're going to switch these four villagers onto the wood stuff we don't need any gold to get up to the next age mind you why don't we need any gold because we're just going to sell all of that stone who needs towers castles and the like when you can simply construct fortified monasteries using wood absolutely recronculus now you could go up a little bit later on so that your eco is stronger yada 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 sing on sing on sing on sing on we don't care we're just trying to hit a super duper fast castle going to construct that market as well as a blacksmith did a slightly poor job over here i think these four villagers should be constructing and the rest should be collecting food that way you would have the food as soon as these buildings are constructed as well drop out another house because we are housed right now sell the stone and we are actually very smooth hiccup did we just have a little click up i wanted to um probably want to have 100 food in the bank so that you can pick up fletching as well on your way and you can collect wood and gold while you are going up to the next age wherever you want all you need is mules bump 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 all you need is mules womp 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 womp, womp. all you need is you, you you get the basic idea now that we have 200 wood in the bank, we are going to run forward with all of our villagers to construct that forward fortified monastery. We're also leaving that mule just behind to collect a little bit more gold so that we can make a monk right away as well. I figure placing it next to this main gold would be pretty good. Probably should have made it a little bit closer to the wood line over here. Uh, reason being, oh, AI bug and elk as AI do. Chuku kuchu, there comes the monk. Convert everything, that's how we do. Now, they have the same amount of HP, yet a TC has an additional plus 5 uh, attack, 
with the villagers in it and, and, and yada yada yada. But it doesn't matter because the repairing of a fortified monastery is normal, whereas the repairing of a TC is not. So it's significantly more expensive to repair a TC than it is to repair a fortified monastery, thus working into your advantage in a TC fortified monastery. I can't believe I'm saying this. In a TC fortified monastery war, you have the advantage because the wood that is required to repair a fortified monastery is less. In addition, you can easily have your monks out running around and converting everything because they can run back to the fortified monastery and then be protected from their counter unit, aka scouts. So a fast castle monastery drop is very, very feasible. Um, does the fortified monastery also shoot for the um, other new civilization? I don't know enough about them, but we're, we're definitely going to try that as well. And this is just absolute obliteration nation over here um i know it's ai and yada 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 but i think the concept still holds once you have another 200 wood why not just double fortified monastery drop it's more cheaper -der -der than a tc -der -der -der. convert 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 to create your population rather than using monks it's fine don't worry about it no wonder you doubt victorious mm. one thing i'm very curious about is how's our research 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 15 to 1 ai you are trash how's our resource collection in the early game yeah it's so strong it's just so strong it's very very strong 500 ahead when we hit too few and then we decrease obviously when we get to castle because we're not making as many villa gares what is this apm zero ai you are trash i'm trash talking to ai let's go let's go so just to recap the build order here it is 20 on or sorry 19 onto food 20 pop up with loom moving over a total of about six or seven onto straggler trees once you do click up making sure that you're taking a deer patch and then a wood patch from that deer patch making a market as well as a, a blacksmith selling the 200 zone Hold the figgity dang phone because we're going to be selling all of our stone to have the gold requirements. Then once you are up, you can, or as you're going up, you can collect the wood, you can collect the gold, you can run forward and drop those monasteries. I think that pretty much um, sums it up. Please play against the human. Okay, next video will be about a human. I also wonder how good their unique unit is. There's so many questions, so many questions, so many memes to be written right now. And I am excited to share that with you. And with that, don't let your memes just be dreams. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you are staying in touch with all of the newest DLC meme strategies that people are going to be using on Ranked. That would be dank. And thank you from Poop Nation. Cringe.